Well, I'm here in Prince Albert National Park. I'm doing the Bagua canoe route. And one of the first things you have to do is get your canoe a kilometer across a rail track and onto Kingsmere Lake. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> you like the journey? Oh yeah, <laughs> you bet. Well, it's a beautiful evening here on Kingsmere Lake. I started around 4 p.m. and I'm gonna end up at the Bagua campground uh, hopefully in a few hours if the wind uh, doesn't get too bad. And there's only two campsites there and I've already met the crew that's gonna be staying there tonight. Really excited for some peaceful backcountry camping here in Prince Albert National Park. I didn't capture this on film, but as I was leaving Bagua Lake and coming onto Lily Lake, two pelicans flew over top of my canoe. Um, and it was, it was just a really, a really magical sort of experience, you know? Yesterday I paddled about 13 kilometers from the boat launch to Bagua campground. And today going from Bagua back to the boat launch through Lily Lake to complete the route is about another 13 kilometers. So I just dropped my gear at the end of this portage and I'm headed back to get my canoe. I need to invest in one of those dry bags that has the actual backpack strap, but that's okay. It's a short portage. One of the really great things about paddling the Bagua route 
is that there are massive signs, uh, huge white X's to show you where to go. At the campgrounds, there are huge white triangles, so keep an eye out for those things. It makes this route actually quite accessible for folks who are new to canoe tripping. Portaging a canoe isn't my favorite thing to do. I've got a heavy polyethylene boat on top of me. I feel like I need to invest in Kevlar. Not today. Today, I will take my boat and I will march. All right, so that portage wasn't too bad. Um, it took me probably about 15 minutes altogether. So now I'm on Crane Lake. I'm heading down the left side of the lake and I believe there's another portage there and that's where we're going to go back onto Kingsmere Lake. And then from there, it's retracing the steps of yesterday, going down uh, to the south end of Kingsmere and then out to the boat launch. Kingsmere Lake looks beautiful. I kind of want to go for a swim, but I don't really have time. So. could not be happier. I got to the, the launch and there was a cart there waiting for me, which is fantastic. So I'm able to take my canoe to the other end and then finish on Kingsmere River. But if there's no cart, you have to walk over a kilometer, get the cart, come back, put your boat on and then take it back. Good end to an awesome, awesome trip. That's the end of the Bagua route. It was a fantastic 26K. Um, this is an awesome canoe route. I would recommend it to anybody who loves to paddle and especially for those looking for family-friendly activities. This is, this is off the chart. Can't wait to see you out there. <laughs>